video we want to study human immunodeficiency virus that is HIV virus. So if a person gets infected by this virus it is called as HIV, he is going to be HIV positive. He will not have AIDS okay but it progresses, the disease can later progress to become AIDS okay. So a person who is HIV infected you should not call him as an AIDS patient okay. AIDS patient is only if he has AIDS. What is AIDS? Acquired immunodeficiency syndrome. Okay, so let us move on and see what exactly we will study in this lecture. Human uh, immunodeficiency virus, we will look uh, at the virus itself. Basically, this is a virology subject. So, we want to look at the virus, understand the virus. It's a retrovirus. That means it has a reverse transcriptase enzyme. Okay, it has RNA. It's an RNA virus which has reverse transcriptase. Okay. So basically it uh, with this reverse transcriptase from RNA it makes DNA okay it makes DNA in the host. So this DNA will come and bind to our DNA and then it will start producing uh, RNA and proteins etc viral proteins. So basically this is the unique thing many RNA viruses are there right but they directly make their proteins. But here this goes backwards makes the DNA attaches this DNA to our uh, uh, DNA and starts DNA replication, DNA to uh, RNA, RNA to proteins. Okay, so uh, this is coming under the genus Lentivirus HIV. Okay, there are other retroviruses also like HTLV, like uh, that is human T cell lymphotrophic virus. Okay, so there is there is other retrovirus. So not just HIV, there is HTLV, that is human. T cell lymphotrophic virus. Okay, there are many uh, retroviruses, not just HIV. Don't keep that in your mind. So, uh, why you, we have to read about HIV? Because currently there is a stigma associated with this disease. There is no cure. Such things make us read more about HIV, and also it is important for exam. Now, <clears throat> the first case of HIV was reported here in New York. And uh, how it actually came to humans is from chimpanzee, okay, from chimpanzee it has come to man and that was in rural Africa. The virus now has undergone many changes and adapted to humans and now it has become an epidemic, okay. So this virus has undergone change in humans, okay. Epidemiology, uh, basically the global situation is 0.8% of adults are affected in uh, the world. Since the beginning, uh, that is since AIDS was uh, the discovery of AIDS, 78 million have been affected, infected and 39 million deaths have occurred. Okay, So, uh, at the end of uh, 2013, it was seen that 0.8% of adult population in the world, they are affected. Okay, That is 35 million people are living with AIDS. This is something you have to remember and lot of deaths also. 35 million Where's that thing? 35 million people are living with HIV. Okay. So, this they use a term called uh, PLHA, people living with HIV or AIDS. Okay. So, that is something you have to know. So, global situation is 35 million people are living with HIV as of 2013 and the global prevalence is 0.8%. Okay. In uh, Sub-Saharan Africa, uh, it is a um, higher prevalence, one in every 20 adults, my God, is living with HIV. Okay, now let us look at the situation in India. How is the situation in India? In India, the prevalence is 0.27%, uh, okay. 0.27% is much less than, than the global prevalence, correct? So that is a good thing, 0.27% prevalence and in Andhra Pradesh, it is very high. In India, do you know that there are 22 lakh people living with HIV or AIDS? Yes, 22 lakh people in India are living with HIV or AIDS. 20 lakh adults, that is 21 lakh adults and 1.5 lakh children are affected with uh, HIV AIDS. Okay, 20 lakh people, uh, 22 lakh, yeah. Reservoir, who is the reservoir for this? Okay, we forgot to mention the states. See, Andhra Pradesh has the worst and then Maharashtra, then Karnataka, then Nagaland has higher prevalence rate than the global prevalence. So, if global prevalence is uh, 
0.8 nagaland has 0.88% prevalence okay so nagaland is uh, highly affected now let's move on to reservoir reservoir is the infected people infected people themselves are the reservoirs okay now let us come to high risk groups who are the high risk groups what do you think homosexuals people with multiple sex partners prostitutes then healthcare workers who are uh, susceptible to accidental needle injury or blood splash in the eye etc now uh, aids control organization is there in india it is called as national aids control organization right naco so you should know about naco national aids control organization this one if it is you are not able to see this one national aids control organization right it is constituted to implement the hiv aids uh, control program in india okay so this is uh, in the national level in the state level you have sacs sacs is state aids prevention and control societies okay so in every state there is uh, sacs okay so that was about uh, hiv epidemiology now let us move on to the morphology of hiv virus so this is also very important for exam you have to draw this diagram so basically uh, very typical uh, you have seen all other viruses uh, so far right so you have seen that there will be one envelope which is lipid to the envelope lot of glycoproteins are attached same thing right and then uh, within the envelope there is some uh, matrix kind of thing i am not sure they didn't label it here then you have uh, uh, the genetic material here it is rna and around it there will be nucleocapsid correct so remember that here there are two copies of identical rna rna identical copies are there too and uh, they will have uh, reverse transcriptase so you can see here reverse transcriptase which will help the rna to become dna right and uh, there is some core here core all this you should know because this structure and the antigens that come along with these this structure is very important okay for the exam now remember here in the um, to the lipid envelope there is glycoprotein attached right this glycoprotein the top part you can see here is glycoprotein 120 and this pedicle thing is called as transmembrane pedicle it is glycoprotein 41 these are the antigens you should know them okay so these three together constitute the envelope here you have the core here you have the envelope okay uh, is the morphology of hiv virus clear you have to draw this diagram in the exam very important any question they ask about hiv na you can draw up this diagram now let us look at the genes and antigens of uh, hiv so you have uh, structural genes so structural genes you have uh, gag gene envelope gene and pol gene we'll come to what they are in gag gene you have the core antigen core antigen uh, you have the p24 you saw the p24 here you remember uh, core antigen here p24 okay then envelope genes they will code for what the envelope uh, antigens those are the gp120 and gp41 correct gp120 and gp41 this gp120 is very important guys this only helps in binding to the uh, of the main receptor of hiv okay it is the main receptor of hiv that binds to cd4 molecules on host cell okay this is this is important okay gp120 right then you have uh, gp41 it is fusion protein remember gp41 that is the transmembrane ped pedicle right transmembrane pedicle this is the one this green uh, stalk kind of thing here that is the one that helps in fusion fusion protein it is okay then what and all you should know here pol pol uh, gene codes for uh, the viral enzymes it codes codes for the enzymes such as reverse transcriptase protease integrase it is expressed as precursor protein it is cleaved into proteins okay so codes for viral enzymes okay so these are all creating the structure of the virus you know this right so it codes for the viral enzymes which enzymes so p232 that is uh, integrase p51 that is reverse transcriptase and p66 
Okay, they didn't say what it is in this. Okay. So just note here that P51 codes for reverse transcriptase, guys. Don't forget this. P51 codes for reverse transcriptase. It's a pole gene. Quickly, just uh, let's revise the structural genes now. What do you say? Structural genes and the, all the antigens. Let us look at GAG gene. It codes for the core and the shell. Here you have P24, etc. P24, P18. Envelope gene codes for obviously the envelope uh, glycoproteins. So you have uh, GP120, GP41. It's the fusion protein, and GP120 is the main. Uh, this protein is the main receptor of HIV that binds CD4 molecules to the host cell. Pole gene uh, it codes for the viral enzymes like uh, P32 is integrase, P51 is reverse transcriptase. As of now, we want you to remember only this P51 reverse transcriptase. Okay, so we are done with the structural genes. Now let us look at the non-structural genes. These actually regulate, okay, they are not forming anything in the structure. They regulate something. They regulate the replication and they are also important in disease pathogenesis, okay. So you have TAT, NEF, REV, TAT, NEF, REV, VIF, VPU, VPR, VPX, LTR, Wow, so many, right? So let's just make a new slide for this. Non-structural genes of HIV. Okay, so these are going to help in what? In the replication. So they're going to regulate viral replication and help in pathogenesis. So the STAT is transcriptional uh, transactivator gene. It is essential for the replication. NEF is negative factor gene. It uh, downregulates the CD4 expression on the host cell surface. REV is the uh, regulator of virus gene. It enhances the expression of structural proteins. VIF is viral infectivity factor gene. It influences the infectivity of viral particles. VPU promotes the CD4 degradation. Then uh, VPR, uh, it increases the transport of viral genome into the nucleus. VPF is found in HIV2 and uh, it is closely related to VPR. LTR is long terminal repeat sequence which are present on both ends. They provide promoter, enhancer and integration signals. So you, I hope you understood the non-structural uh, genes of uh, HIV. Some VIF, VPU, NIF. What and all is there. Okay, so we are done with um, HIV structure. So let's revise what we have seen so far. Okay, so we started off with human immunodeficiency virus. Um, <clears throat> so basically, it is a retrovirus. It has uh, it is an RNA virus which has a reverse transcriptase enzyme that makes DNA in the host, which binds to our DNA, and uh, then it starts uh, making uh, RNA again, right? And then protein synthesis. This is a lentivirus. History, it was first detected in New York. It came from chimpanzees to man. And once it entered man, it has adapted to humans and now it causes epidemic. Epidemiology, global situation, 0.8% uh, adults are affected and lot of deaths. Uh, in India, 0.27% prevalence is there. Reservoir is nothing but infected people. High risk groups are uh, homosexuals, multiple sex partners, prostitutes, that itself is multiple sex partner. Then um, <coughs> uh, people who are uh, in health, right, health workers who are uh, exposed to needles, etc. Then uh, IV drug users and also people who take blood transfusion. Now, AIDS control organization, you have NACO in the national level and uh, SACS in the state level. HIV morphology, very important. You should draw this diagram in the exam. You have the lipid layer here, which is the uh, to which glycoproteins are attached. That becomes the envelope. Inside it, there is matrix as usual, standard structure. In the middle, you have genetic material. Here, it's two copies of identical RNA. RNA identical two copies are there with reverse transcriptase. Around it, there is a core. Genes and antigen, we saw structural genes like GAG gene which codes for uh, the core and the shell antigens. Envelope uh, genes which code for the envelope uh, proteins like GP120 and GP41. Then uh, pole genes, they code for viral enzymes like 
P51 codes for the reverse transcriptase. I am interested to know why it is called poly, but I don't have any information as of now why it is called poly. Okay, then uh, other continued. Here we are seeing uh, the non structural genes. You have the TAT, NEF, REV, WIF, VPU, VPR, VPX, LTR. So basically, all these are going to help in replication of virus and help in the pathogenesis of the virus. Now, look at antigenic variation and diversity in HIV. So, what happens is uh, uh, this reverse transcriptase is error prone. So, that is not a good thing for us, you know, actually. The thing with uh, this. Uh, uh, reverse transcriptases, it leads to antigenic diversity. See, most mutation actually happen in the envelope gene. So, what happens that you, you know that GP120, GP41, there's a lot of changes in that. Every time this virus replicates, it's a different type of virus it's creating. Okay, So, that helps the HIV to evade the human, Im our immune, host immune, it tries to escape by all these uh, antigenic diversity. You will be targeting one antigen, something else it will create. Then vaccination is also difficult because of this, okay. Now HIV serotyping, there are two HIV serotypes, HIV1 and HIV2. In that again you have MNOP, they have seemed to have discovered now. M HIV1 is very important, okay. So that's all for now. In the next video, we will look at uh, other things. Pathogenesis, okay. Pathogenesis of HIV we will look at. And then we have a lot to look at transmission, we have to look at, then we have to look at immunopathogenesis, we have to look at kinetics of immune response, opportunistic infections due to HIV, lab diagnosis of HIV, right, all this western blot, all this we have to look at, lab diagnosis of newborn has been asked in exam, we need to look at that, HIV treatment, zidovudine, lamivudine, tenofovir, all that you should know, um, monitor progression in HIV also has been asked. So you will um, monitor the CD4 uh, levels and all that. We will come to that. Post exposure profile access very important because um, what happens is uh, hospital workers, right, healthcare workers, they are prone to needle stick uh, injuries, right. So the, we need a post exposure profile access for such people. So vaccine strategy is not important for exam. Clinical diagnosis, something is there like that. Classification, clinical staging of HIV. So all this we have to cover, so there's a lot to cover. Let's just, uh, one word let us put here on the disinfection and inactivation of HIV. Do you know that HIV can be killed by household bleach, by ethanol, by Lysol? Lysol, it's sold in the market, right? Formaldehyde, hydrogen peroxide, heating, extreme pH, all these itself can disinfect, a, in disinfect HIV, okay? In the next video, we will uh, start off with the pathogenesis, okay?